Should I follow spiritual teachers? Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So I want to do a quick uh, video on, and I was uh, guided to do this video, but I didn't really um, want to get into it, but um, kind of coming back around to it again. So, you know, with this time that we're in right now, we have a lot of spiritual teachers, channels, um, psychics, mediums, a lot of people who are coming to the forefront to help share knowledge and wisdom to help raise the conscious of the, uh, you know, human, right? The human version of ourselves. Um, and it is for a good reason because we are moving into a different dimension and higher consciousness um, to that we need to bring this awareness to. And the thing is, so a lot of um, a lot of them have been doing it for a while, and some of them are actually um, starting new. I'm actually um, gone from you know my my sleeping state, I call it, you know, the amnesia, into the awakening, and had all my experiences, the death experience, and then working and developing my abilities, channeling and information and doing automatic writing, you know, I've gone through my own process and now coming out and sharing information too. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, right? And so the thing is that we all are coming from a different place and we're all sharing different things from a different level because even all channels, all psychics, all mediums still have their bias of where they are on the timeline. And so they also have their own filters and awareness that is coming through as they're channeling, receiving the information to give it to you. And so that's only based on where they are on their level of consciousness, which doesn't make it right or wrong. It just makes it what it is. And so when we see through that view and um, consciousness of reality, sharing our information that we're receiving to put it into words uh, to give it to you, um, it may come out exactly like or not exactly alike of what we're receiving depending on our view and how we're sharing it but it's a good thing right because it's where we are right and so source is using us as we are as a guide for those who are going to be coming to them right versus people who are going to go to a different one channel or psychic because they're not in alignment with that right and so everything fits together like a puzzle and there's nothing right or wrong about it. It's just the way that it is, right? It's our meaning that we give to it that terms it and gives it a name. This is good. This is bad. This isn't, this is that, but that's judgment, right? And so when we judge something, we become stuck in that judgment and that's how we see it, right? And so if we can go through life without judgment on anything, then we're open and more likely to move through life easier, right? Without judgment, because once you judge something, that's how we see it until we change it. Right. And so that's our own judgment on certain things. But from like one channel, like mine, my channelings, right, comes to me through writings. And then I explain it and put it into words from my understanding. Um, so you're going to have the book version, which comes through that way. But then when I speak it, it comes through my understanding and then how they're receiving it. So it's coming through in different ways. So you can buy the books, you can listen to the videos. Um, and so how I'm wording it and sharing it is going to be different than another person because they're at a different place to understand what they're receiving to give their information on it and how they're receiving it. It doesn't make mine right or wrong, theirs wrong and theirs right and mine wrong. It just makes it what it is because we're different at different places, you know, on our journey. But at the same time, it helps other people because where they are is where it's going to connect you to for your understanding to help you from that point of view, which is going to help you um, in a certain way. And so it, it's, a, it's a helpful thing to listen to people channel or go to, to sessions and readings and things like that because it helps you on your way. But what you don't want to do is just stay with one. And I know a lot of places they want you to just stay with one because you're never at the same place at all times. You're gonna evolve through the timelines, right? And as you evolve, you become in the need for other and greater knowledge, right? And so a lot of practices like religion want you to just stay with them. And so when you do that, you're limiting yourself because they're only gonna teach you certain things, right? You have to expand your awareness and go to different teachers, different places, see what else is out there. Does this resonate with me? Does that resonate with you? It's like the path from one 
to the other, right? To, okay, I've evolved enough to the point where I can evolve, you know, following them or going to them for sessions here. I have to find something that's beyond this level of awareness because they are only where they are, right? And unless they're constantly evolving <laughs> and sharing new content and information, then you're not going to go any further, right? And so that's how been to me with my teachers, right? And so how I've been guided to go through my journey. And so it's been my experience as I've been going on the journey and led to from one teacher to the other teacher to each teacher because they're only teaching certain things. And when I feel like I'm done, my soul is like, I need something else. And so it goes to other teacher to bring in that component and then this component and then that component. So it all builds and makes sense to you where you are to help you and bring that all together, right? And so when you're um, following different teachers and going to different sessions with channelers and psychics and healers, you know, it, it all it will all make sense in the end. It's just following the guidance from one to the other because I went from like uh, meditation to yoga to um, working on intuitive abilities and then you know, going forward, just following healthy eating behaviors started becoming a part of my everyday life change, right? And that's what it is. And so being on the path of awakening, you're going to receive what it is that you need to um, experience when you need to experience it. And so just be with that and acceptance, you know, and so if you are going from one, you're not, you may be resonating with them, but then after a while, you may not resonate with them, and then you're going to shift to another one. Another one will come, and then another one will come, and you're going to need to incorporate this. So you're probably going to follow somebody who's working on nutrition and sharing their experience and their information. And so you're going to bring these all pieces together. And so there's nothing right or wrong about it. It's just the path, right? And so there's a lot of people out there that are saying, well, only just follow me, or other people aren't knowing what they're talking about. But it's not meant to be like that. And so we're not meant to follow one person forever for all time. It's just the taking in up of the information to where you are to help you along the path, right? And so it's the same way as if you're wanting to go from one place to another and you're trying to manifest something, you're going to be led to these different directions, but that's the way it is on the spiritual path. So when you're following these different teachers and channels and psychics and things like that, that's fine, right? And so... Just follow with what goes, um, you know, resonates with you, you know, and that experience. And it's okay. You don't have to judge it and say it's good or bad or nay, or whatever it is um, for you. You know, if it's not, it's not. And for those who are saying that it's a detriment to your evolution and your expansion, you know, to follow with others that you connect with, um, there's something in that that's being brought to you that you're, you need to know to make connections. And so... Um, there's nothing wrong with, you know, following people, um, going to sessions, things like that. But what you don't want to do is negate yourself in the whole process, right? You still want to have your inner connection to divine um, so you can receive who you're connecting with and what is true and what isn't so you can discern for yourself what is true, right? And not accept just anything that you're being told or taught, right? Because some things will resonate and some things won't. And it's about your soul journey, what feels right to me um, in that observance of it, what's being shared with me. Because a lot of times if we're not connected, um, what's going to happen is we have people come into our lives that helps us bring that to us, what we need at the time that we are on our journey where we are, because we're at all different places. I mean, so you're going to be led to the person that's going to share the information with you. And then when you're done and you get it and you are like, oh, you know, you're going to move on, right? So the universe is going to bring you something more, something else to help you along your journey and path. So um, some people are putting out there that, you know, that channels, you know, following channels and psychic people, things like that can hurt you in your evolution, but and it's not true. Um, it depends on where you are. If you're not directly connected um, they're going to be helpful in your evolution. But if you're connected, you can use it in tandem. And then if you're directly connected and you don't need an outside source, then you don't need an outside source and you're just going to evolve through your own teachings and evolution, right? And expansion, then you can teach from your place, right? And those, that goes from what they're showing me uh, to put in here is like you're going from one, like the student to the teacher, right? So student to the teacher is your path, right? And so when you learn something, 
you get it, you awaken to it, then you learn it and you experience it and you understand it and then you become the teacher of it. And so that's how it works in evolution, right? You become the student to the learner, to the experiencer, to the, uh, to the teacher, right? And so you pass it on, what is your experience and your understanding of it, right? And so to teach something is to, to help ingrain that knowledge that you have. Uh, experience and acquired for yourself and then as you move on to something else you learn something new right and you expand upon that um, in its evolution of itself to higher consciousness because it's all on the way to source right um so there's always from not being to being right it's it's never um the illusion is going away from source but the trueness is going to source right and so there's that being but Again, what you don't want to do is totally disconnect yourself. And I can see where this is going to be the point of where they might be speaking from. Because when I look at myself and what other people are teaching, it's different. And we have different ways of saying and expressing it because we are learning from different ways and seeing it from different ways and we express it in different ways. And so it's not that it's right or wrong. And this person's good and this one's not. It's just where we are, how we are saying and expressing it because we're all one individual in our experience and how we see it and understand it. And so if it resonates with you, then that's great. But when we're totally negating ourselves and not working on ourselves is when it can become detriment to ourselves. So you always still want to work on yourself, even though you're following other people, right? Yes, it's good that you're going to absorb all this information, but if you do nothing with it, then that becomes a problem. <laughs> that becomes a detriment to your evolution because then you're never you're becoming the absorber, but you're never moving into the um, more deeper understanding of it. And you're never going to be, become the teacher. You're always going to become student, right? Student forever, right? We want to start moving into other conscious where you're in the awareness of, okay, I'm observing the information, I'm understanding it, I'm contemplating it, I'm putting it into practice, and then I'm the teacher, right? And so then you move on to something else. And so if we never do that for ourselves and we're always expecting others to do it for us, then we're never going to move along that timeline. And so it's the expression of self that we're being to ourselves and honoring ourselves and allowing ourselves to do that and step our own power to do our own con divine connection, right? And that's through meditation, um, journaling, going out to nature, eating healthy, um, tuning into yoga, you know, doing self-practice, self-evolution, um, setting your intent and your goals and moving forward to that, right? And so for me, a big part of that um, on my journey, you know, was that process. And so I can share that with you because I went from a total dark night of the soul to death experience to instant healing coming back to being taught on the path once I agreed to it to go into meditation went from meditation to yoga, went from yoga to healthy eating, detoxing. And then I went into um, psychic abilities, waking my psychic abilities, and then the channeling, and then the death experience, you know, uh, led me through all that, right? And that's the journey w where I was guided from. And then you just keep following the path wherever it is. And don't give up, don't stop, and don't regress. Just keep going, keep evolving. But don't always let other people do it for you. You have to, at some point, start doing it for yourself right otherwise it becomes a detriment to yourself because you have all this and it's like you don't do anything with it and so the the path is there for you the guidance is there for you but you have to at some point take steps you know to do it right and integrate it right and then become a teacher of your own experience and share with other people because there's people that are um waiting for it to come through you because source works through people outside of ourselves who aren't directly connected, right? And so when we're looking to others, you know, that person may be the person that's going to move you, right? And connect with you on a certain level, whereas one person wouldn't. And you're resisting the information. Now, if another person gives you that information, um, you may be open to receive it because it's being said and expressed in a different way as part of this one person over here is going to say it in one way it may not resonate with you and so you're not going to be accepting of it and then you're just going to be like no right and so there are a lot of people out there who are um in that situation you know and so if you're being guided to go on the path and journey and then you know to become the teacher of your own experience and you do nothing with it then you're not able to help another person Right. And so that's how it's kind of set up, right? The, the framework. So we're all a part of it, right? We all have a part and play in it. 
And we go through these experiences in our lives, and no matter what it is, whether it's abuse, alcoholism, drugs, um, whatever it is, you know, disorders, you know, your life is unhealthy, you know, your body, your mind, whatever it is, you know, at some point, you know, we have to start in, in incorporating some of the information that we're observing from another person and put it into practice. So that way you can, uh, you know, work with your higher consciousness source and your guides to help bring it through for others who are going to be connected to you to help them, right? And so that's just how it is, right? And as we all evolve, where others are evolving because they're willing to follow you versus another person. And sometimes it's just a matter of how they say it. You know, somebody might have more of a loving energy. Some might have more of a strict energy. And so it's really based on who or who they're connecting with and, you know, what they're able to accept and absorb from them and allow, right? And so that's just, that's the path, right? And so I just want to kind of put that out there because I've seen some videos out there lately. And I don't know whether it's because you know, they, whatever reason, whether it's competition or they want you to follow them. I know religions, they want you to just stay with them and not have other ones um, that go with it because I've um, come across a couple of those where like, you only need one teacher and that's not true, right? That's an illusion. They just want you to stay with them and follow them. And so you go to whoever you're guided to go by your spirit, your soul, your divine connection, your, your guides, right? And so... That way you're expanding along and you're getting all the information because another person may not talk about what you need, right? And so this other person might, and so you want to follow that. But anyway, I don't want to keep going back over that, but um, that's kind of just the point that I wanted to put out in this video. Um, and so, you know, even like I said, for me, like what I'm putting out, it may not resonate with you. And you, either you may not be ready or you may not resonate with me or you may not understand what I'm saying, um, but those who are will, you know, and, and that's all right. And that's just the way that it is. And so coming from the understanding perspective, you know, be okay with where you are on the journey and whether you're actually implementing your practice or just on the learning stages of it, or you're going into the teaching stages of your understanding, your knowledge, um, you know, be okay with that, right? Because it's the journey, right? And so if you have any questions or want to book a session, um, reach out and drop them below in the comment section and thanks for tuning in happy journeys